going. So I'm on the bus heading to Scarborough and Filey. Uh, so the bus number is number 13, and uh, if it was another the cost of a single fare going into Scarborough, it's two quid. So really cheap. I don't know how long the two pound scheme is for, but. It's worth it. Cheap and they get the train, so I thought take advantage, get on the bus, then uh, head into Scarborough. So once we get into Scarborough, we're going to check out South Bay, North Bay. Um, if we've got time, we'll check out the town centre too. And uh, I'm going to show you my, my go to rooftop bar I go to in Scarborough. One of my favourite bars in Scarborough. Got people watching, maybe have some food, and so forth. So that is the bus I've just got off on the f number 13 so when you leave Farley and you get the 13 it will drop you right here right near the the bridge here which is absolutely awesome so now we're going to go for a little walk since we have now arrived in Scarborough uh, it's overcast today in Scarborough but nonetheless we'll surely enjoy Scarborough today and it's right by the Spa Chalet right up there so in the distance you've got the, the Grand Hotel uh, which I believe has been voted the worst hotel in the UK I believe from what I saw online uh, I don't know if that is true or not um, but nonetheless it's on the corner now in Scarborough and when you get to the top of this bridge here you'll get a nice view of Scarborough and uh, South Bay View from that side there and uh, quick view of Scarborough there for you So it's my fifth year coming to Scarborough. Uh, not as sunny as last year though, that's silly thing. <laughs> so this gives you an idea of how busy it is today. Doesn't look too busy on the beach though, does it? Uh, that is the open top deck bus, which will take you to the North Bay. And uh, that is the bus I just got off on there. So two pound, can't complain. Took under under 50 minutes to get here from finally. So not long really, you know. So you can do two places in one like I've been doing today. Visit finally, then maybe come to Scarborough afterwards. We've got a coffee bar which is under renovation at the moment there. And uh, on the corner here there's, uh, there's a cafe here too. It's really busty today in Scarborough. Quite windy. But up here you've got quite a few hotels. Uh, which I'll show you actually. So that's the St Nicholas Cafe right there. Uh, you can get a pancake for £3.50 with the choice of lemon, orange and uh, golden syrup. And uh, if you want to find your bearings in Scarborough, uh, you've got this map right here. 
So if you're not sure where you are, refer to this map and uh, you'll find your way around Scarborough. So you've got the Travel Lodge here, the Grand Hotel, and I think there's another hotel up here. Uh, there's a Italiano cafe up there too. And uh, you've got a few more hotels as well. So we'll head to South Bay and then uh, show you how busy that is on the main front. So I'm on the South Cliff side now of Scarborough. And I'll tell you something, there's some really nice uh, flowers up here. Check that out right there. That's pretty nice. It is lovely around here. Uh, you've got this area too, which is really nice to chill out. Get a bit of peace and quiet. And check out the view here on this side here. It's absolutely magnificent. And uh, if you guys want some information, uh, check out this here. Pause the video if you want to check out the information on this. And up in front we've got the, the spa as well. This uh, magnificent building here. And further down there, there's, uh, I think there will be a cafe, like there always is, the beach shop. And uh, a few other shops down there too. Look at that, right there, absolutely brilliant here. Ferreras Bar and Restaurant. So that must be down there. Yeah, I wonder why all this is fenced up here. Uh, but anyway, if you need to get the bus to um, North Bay, then you'd wait for your bus right there. That's where you get the bus from. Uh, I imagine it will cost £2 and uh, it will take it to North Bay. And I'll tell you something as well, I just hope that I get some better fish and chips this year. Because when I came last year, I had probably the, probably the worst fish and chips I've ever had. So today I'm hoping for some really nice fish and chips. Uh, so I'll be checking the comments from last year of the places to go to. And then I'll pick one of them to find uh, some really nice fish and chips. Okay, this here. Wow, look at that, that's pretty nice. Oh, if it's to the top as well. Lovely. Down there too. So that'd be nice in the summer. And uh, again, check out the flowers here too on this idea. Check that out.
view from that side as well. I'm going to take some pictures, then uh, I'll just show you the South Beach. So I'm on the beach of Scarba here on the, the south side. You've got the beach combo right there. A uh, place to get food, drinks, good spot to people watch, enjoy the view of the ocean. And it's right by the, the Grand Hotel here on the left here. So we're going to go on to the main path here in a minute. And uh, we are going to go for a walk along the south side, which will take me to my favourite bar in uh, Scarborough. Um, if you ever go to the Scarborough Castle, uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, I went last year and the views from there are absolutely fantastic. And uh, you can walk up to the castle, not too far from uh, the bar that I'm going to. There's a path which will take you to the castle. You'll pay an entrance fee, then uh, you're good to go. So we're now going to go for a walk along the, the South Beach area leading up to my favourite bar. Um, if you want to take the tramway, you can, which will take it up there. Uh, they sell ice creams there too. Uh, you got the amusements on the left there. And uh, I've come on the 13th of April 2024 so the last tram today will be at 17.45 and the first is at 9.30 so that's just in case you want to take a tram up there uh, you've got the ferries wheel on the left here uh, you've got your cabin for the lifeguard just watching over the beach making sure everybody is safe and it's quite incredible actually too that this year is the fourth year since I remember this road being blocked off just to one way traffic along here. Quite incredible. Uh, you've got the public toilets on the left there. You got a view of the ocean right there too. That's a nice place to go for a walk up there. Plenty of greenway. Uh, you got the beach kiosk on the right there. And uh, as always, there's always traffic whenever you come into Scarborough always if it's a nice dry day like it is today expect traffic along this main road here um, prices on some of the foods here two for two pound for donuts four, four for three fifty Belgian waffles giant hot dogs cheeseburgers ice cold drinks and so forth And they also sell all the the kids' play toys. And today, you can even bring your kids, and uh, they can go for a donkey ride too. Uh, if you want to rent a deck chair, it'll cost you four quid. Quick view. That's what the, they are doing today with the donkeys for the kids. <sighs> We've got amusement there on the left. And as always, you've got the famous place on the left selling all your beach stuff, t-shirts, etc. And we've got a, another place to get food 
Uh, the Bayview Cafe, that's been there for years, that place. Uh, got another of that's on the left. And it's when you get down here, it gets a bit busier now. Uh, you got the food shop on the left here, selling rock as well. Entertainment for the kids on the right there. Uh, you got Britain's best fish and chips. Um, that is questionable because I've not had them. Uh, we've got ice cream on the left here too. You've got Flamingo Bay on the left selling ice cream as well. Another measle on the left there. We've got the fish pan restaurant on the left there too, another workshop, uh, the pit stop, selling burgers, hot dogs, donuts, hot and cold drinks on the left there too. Uh, we've got the tea kiosk up in front uh, where they'll have Yorkshire tea. Same again on offers for the donuts etc. Prices as well on this side here if you want to check it out. Lord Nelson Paul on the left there too. And uh, a selection of kiosks on this side here. Selling Scarborough Rock. And other foods that they got on offer here. We've got chips, donuts, burgers on this side here. Uh, Fletcher's all on the right here too. We've got the ice cream place on the left here. And we've got the very famous Harbour Bar. That's been here for many, many years. I've been here a couple of times and it's absolutely awesome in there. Um, it's my one of my go-to places for ice cream if you come to Scarborough. Right there. Absolutely awesome. Prices on there, if you want to go on the boat there. We got the golden grid on the left. We got another shop on the left there too, selling all your rock, etc. Uh, we've got another fish and chip restaurant on, left, on the left hand side there. Cafe bar. Uh, we've got the Newcastle Packet Pub there too. We've got the Princess Cafe on the, on the left hand side there. Uh, another kiosk on the right there too. Five for three pounds, 75 pence for donuts. All your ice creams there too. Nice selection there of ice creams. We've got the Ask Italian restaurant on the right hand side here too. We've got the Penny Amusements on, on the left here too. We've got the Bethley Mission Chapel on, on the left here. Uh, we've got a gift shop, we've got the Welcome Inner. I'm on the left there too. Uh, we've got the Cory Side Bar. Uh, we've got King Richard the Third Bar along this side here. This place right here too. Another place to get beach stuff and all things for the beach in Scarborough.
so we're not too far away now from uh, my favorite spot in uh, Scarborough for a drink uh, but we'll show you around here and uh, you can go on uh, fishing trips here too so if you're interested in that you can do that if you want to email address telephone number get in touch and you can book one of them trips uh, if you wanted to book a boat ride or anything like that then you've got a couple of kiosks along this side here um, could tell you on prices but that is busy in the summer when it's a really hot summer's day uh, we've got the anchor fishing ship number 37 uh, we've got the bar waterfront cocktails beers Prosecco we've got the Columbus coffee house I'm on there too Uh, we've got the Lancaster pub on the left here convenience store doorstop adventures We've got this place here too Another amusements That's if you want the ice cream, prices for the for a cheeseburger, etc. along here too. This place here right in front of the Royal Casino on there. Another box shop on on here too. And uh, you've got the Ivor House Cafe there. And uh, you've got the Harborside Fish and Chips there too and the gift shop and uh, another amusement down there you've got another place where you can have a few drinks and foods on there uh, and on the corner this is where the amusement is so this is always busy and to pinpoint my favorite bar that we're going to go to in a minute Providing it's still there, ah, it's open, fantastic. This place right here. So this is my favorite spot for a drink. And up that way, where that path leads to the top, that will take you to the castle. So in a few moments time, we'll go for a drink in that place right there. Relax and uh, chill out. And there we are. That is the South Beach. Just walked all the way down there for you. And that way we'll take it to the North Bay, which we'll go later on. It's very windy today in Scarborough, I must say. Look at that for the car. So I just want to show you these restaurants around here. Then we'll go to the the bar. So we got a bar right here. If you want to go in there for a few drinks. Hot chocolate, champagne, beer, cider, gin, right there. And uh, up in front, we've got another 
another establishment on the boat. Right, I've just got to watch myself with this car here. And uh, we've got the cafe, restaurant and visitor centre on the right here too. And they are open as well, but it's not busy at the moment. But maybe later on they'll be busy. There you go. Right. Here's the view of the beach. The famous Harbour Bar. And uh, we're going to go to the cafe now, down here. Or the rooftop bar, shall I say. So let's go for a few drinks. Cheers, guys. I'm from this rooftop bar. It's packed out here, so I can't really show you around too much. But quick view here. Uh, really nice view here. It's a shame it's not a sunny day though, but it is what it is. Nice view there, isn't it? From the top. The sun has now decided to come out at last. So we're now approaching North Bay. Uh, the time is just gone after 3.30 in the afternoon. Uh, so I've come here early so that I can get back and find the place for the fish and chips. Um, so, if you're looking for a cafe, uh, you've got the Oasis Cafe on this side here. <sighs> so you've got the Oasis Cafe right there. This is the beach here. And you can get the bus if you want to get the bus down here, but I walk it, me. And it only takes 20 minutes, max. Uh, but as you can see, it's not really that busy down here. I know it's relatively quiet. There are some people about, yeah, but not a huge amount of people here. But even today, you've still got a few car park spaces here, so it's not busy, busy. Uh, but today being quite windy too, so maybe that's probably why. And... Uh, it's not freezing cold, but it's quite a breeze. So that's why you've seen a lot of uh, folk with the jackets on or with the hoodies on today. And where you see that uh, white roof there, that is the Sea Life Centre, by the way. And up in front, by the look of it, there's a, an old retro bus. So let us enjoy this classic vintage vehicle. Check out this bus here, look at that. That bus. How cool is that? It's not every day you get to see these kind of buses, is it not, in use? So good that they're still using them. Like if you go to Blackpool, uh, the old classic vintage trams, you know, they still use them, don't they? So it's good to see that they're still using the, the vintage buses from back in the day. Really good to see that. And on the left here, we've got an establishment called Watermark. Watermark Cafe. So, a good spot there if you want to get a cup of tea, get a cup of coffee. Relax. And for those who have not been to Scarby before, and it's your first time, and you want to know how to get from North Bay to South Bay, this is the bus stop right here.
So you can hop on these buses right here. I uh, it shouldn't cost you more than two quid, but I've not been on one for a long time, so I don't know the price is of, of that. Uh, but I know I paid two pounds to get to Scarborough from Filey today. So now we are approaching North Bay. Not too busy here. We've got a couple of establishments on the corner here. We've got a corner, uh, a corner shop or maybe a convenience store. So we've got a few establishments right there. We've got Taylor's, North Bay Bar and Kitchen. I've had fish and chips in there before. Very nice fish and chips in the past. Uh, you've got you've got Dexter's fish and chips. You got the beach up in front there too. And you've got these uh, luxury apartments on the left here. So catering, direct beach access, holiday lights, all that up there for you. And it's called the Sands Five Star Holiday Apartments, right there. Uh, go on Google if you want to find more information on that. Uh, couldn't see a telephone number there or a link to their website. Uh, so at the time of me filming this in the mid-afternoon There's a few people about here Not too busy uh, You've got your huts down here By the way too And uh, you've got the Sea Lab Centre And that is North Bay Right here And there you go So I'm just sat by the South Bay and I went to the like boat fish and chip place and I had to wait about 10 minutes. So that's the one I went to near to the harbour bar and this is my fish and chips right here. So this is a small fish and chips for 6 25 a bottle of pop for 2 30 and uh, the thing is that uh, these fish and chips that I got today, they offer you scraps in the chip shop. So when you go there, you will be offered if you want scraps or not. But you'll be waiting about 10, 15 minutes and they've also got a restaurant there as well. Let's dig in. So let's try the fish first of all, the haddock. So this is the haddock right here. That is very good. Nice and crispy, not too greasy. And it's nice and soft in the centre too. Absolutely amazing. Oh, 
and the chips are nice and fluffy as well. I can see why a lot of people like this fish and chip shop because it's so good. I mean, you look at that. That is what you call proper homemade chips right there. Look at that. I give that place 9 out of 10. Very, very good, guys, honestly. And when you get scraps, look at that too. They look really, really good, don't they? Mmm, nice. Look at that fish there. That's how good it is. Absolutely amazing. So I'm going to wrap it up now of uh, my afternoon in Scarborough. Really enjoyed it. And uh, the fish and chips I just had from the lifeboat near to the harbour bar were absolutely amazing. Um, I can still taste the fish and chips now from having those fish and chips. Uh, absolutely incredible. Nine out of ten. So if that's the fish and chips you were saying to the person who commented in last year's video from that chip shop, then uh, please do let me know if that, it was the fish and shop you was referring to behind the harbour bar. Um, because I couldn't find one behind it other than that one. So I hope it's that one, but that is a very good fish and chip uh, place to go to. And they've also got a cafe in there as well. Very busy in there. And even the locals were telling me it's good in there too. So it's very good from what I've uh, tried and tasted. So I hope you enjoy Scarborough. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless. And hope to see you guys on the next one.